Hello all, welcome to a new episode of GitHub Copilot. Today we are looking at Copilot Workspace, the future of Copilot and early previews available for those who like to explore this feature. Copilot Workspace convert your ideas into code and to the end application based on your natural languages. So today I will take you through a very quick demo on how the Copilot Workspace is doing. Going to the blog first, there is a GitHub Copilot Workspace release happened on 29th of April. You have a detailed blog post and at the end there is a registration option for you to sign in for this GitHub Copilot Workspace. Go ahead and sign in and explore this new feature. So let us see how Copilot Workspace will help you as a developer to convert your ideas into a new code base. So I'm starting my code from here. I have a repository. It's a sample repository which contains an Angular application called PetShop. If I explore this one, there are few components like a header, footer, home component, list of tickets, login, new tickets. So these are the items are there. And PetShop is the application name. It's a simple application with a few components I have access to the Copilot workspace. So I can open Copilot workspace directly from my code window. There is a local code spaces and Copilots is available here. So my requirement is simple. I need to add new pet details. So I can specify my requirement something like add a new component for uploading new pet details to my pet shop application so this is my requirement i'm starting the copilot workspace from here so clicking on start task it takes me to the workspace area so right now i am in the workspace copilot start evaluating understanding my current situation how the pet shop application is written what kind of components are available whether I have a component already for uploading this pet details. So it's understand that there is no component right now in the application and the, there are few components exist and the modules also defined and the proposed solution. I need to add a new component for this one and the component should allow users to input the pet details, name, category and everything. All these details are the proposed solution you can review this one once you are okay or you can add something more for example i need to uh, update the readme file with this new feature so that is what i need as an additional element here so i just added that one this is the overall requirement. If you want to edit something or delete one of the tasks, you can do that one or adding a child task that is also possible. Once you are aligned to the specification, go ahead and generate the plan. So the copilot is going ahead and seeing whether what kind of components, which all areas needs to be modified. It comes up with a, a detailed requirements module by module. It's a code level plan. So if you look at there, I need to add a new component called upload pet component and update the app module with these things and a service for that, for uploading the pet, there should be a service which can save the details into the server and there is header component for a navigation angle and the corresponding TS files for implementation elements. And as I mentioned, the readme file, this is my requirement. It needs to update the readme file. If you feel you need some more information or some more elements needs to be applied, then you can go ahead and update that one. For example, I need to modify or create a style sheet. Let me see. I have a style sheet. There is a styles exist and I need to modify specifying that add upload component styles to this sheet this page or 
just add upload component style this is my requirement so this uh, additional things so as part of the specification we did some ad adding that's a readme file in plan again you modified some additional elements saying that this particular cs file needs to be updated with styles once it's fine, everything is looks fine, you can go ahead and implement selected files. Now all the files as part of the plan, whichever files are listed, it's going to generate that files with the structure and the initial set of code base. So it started with upload pet component HTML, the HTML form which can capture the pet details in terms of name, category, image, URL, description. If you look at these features, this will be directly aligned to my pet shop application. Whatever the features I have captured for the pet, exactly the same features are used here. And the TS file, which is having one method, upload pet, that will be called from my form somewhere it may be. This is the upload button. From there, you can invoke this one. It's not directly connected right now. You can maybe a form submit somewhere it may be invoked. And here I am invoking the API service with the upload pet API. This is the API with all the details passed to that pet API. Now let me see in the app module, this new component is getting added. As part of angular normally we add every new components as part of the app module so app module looks fine and coming to the services we have the upload pet that service is defined which is called from my ts file and now it's going for the header component where we need a navigation so it's added an additional button for navigating to this new component that's a cloud upload icon is added and navigate to upload pet that's a new navigation is added and once the navigation is done and there is a function click event is defined here let us see it's defined as part of code behind yeah this the click event is also there and it's routing to my upload pet component this one we already okay routing module the routing module is also defined with the new component this the component level information and going down to the readme file the new feature update is available in readme and the styles are updated into the style sort sc now all the files are generated with the details either i can go ahead and do dismiss the things or uh, comment something more revise this one this is not what i record so in case of this particular one we don't have a event handler so i can revise saying that add the upload button click event handler so i need to revise this by adding the handler element so it started cute this particular one and it's going to implement that as part of the upload pet component.html so let us see how it's generate the new component whether it's able to revise based on my direction or not Yes, ng submit is there in the form level where upload pet is already called. This is the method defined in the code behind. If I go ahead and use this one, this is the upload pet method in the code behind. And in the form submit, it's got called. So it's fine. We are able to revise the code. And also, if you want copy or full mode you can do or dismiss one of the component if you don't want any component you can dismiss it once it's done go down you have different operations here there are 11 files changed either you can create a pull request or you can directly go and push to the current branch that's a main branch or create a new branch normally we go with a new implementation new feature implementation as part of a new branch 
So I am going to push it into a new branch. Add upload feature that's a branch name and the components details came and Copilot generated the complete description all together. So this the description came, I can push to this branch. So I'm going to get a new branch with all these changes. Once I review it, test it, I can merge back to the main branch. So the entire feature implementation is completed and I am able to get the complete code developed. May require a touch up there and here because this is auto generated or a generated code base. I am going to this new branch to see. I am in the new branch where the changes are happened. You can see there is a change in the readme file and all corresponding files are added components here. If I go internally or just go ahead and raise a PR, I can see all 11 files which came as part of this one. And obviously the copilot helps me with the, the complete PR creation and the files, the 11 files modified is also coming as part of single PR. This is the capability of Copilot Workspace. You give your requirement or the feature information as plain English or natural language bay. Copilot Workspace is convert that. First, it generate the current status and the future. What's the proposed status? Then it comes with the specifications where you can add or delete or modify the specification. Then go for the planning phase. It goes file by file modifications. Then it generate the actual files. Either you can merge to the main branch or create a new branch and merge back. Copilot Workspace will transform the way developers work. As you observe, it's convert all the feature requirements in natural language or your ideas from natural language into the code and to the software level. Thank you.